So the first card I have out here is the Judgment card. And the Judgment card does indicate new beginnings in life, in love, in businesses, in work and finances. Okay, so this is a brand new um, a blank page in the new chapter of your life. So a lot of you are experiencing this new, this renewal in some, to jumpstart some area of your life. Okay, so that new sense of wholeness coming through. Um, in terms of medical treatment and things like that, the judgment card is also indicative of um, proper diagnoses that are going to allow you to treat a certain um, a certain illness or to get to the heart of a certain um, to diagnose some type of illness that has been you know inhibiting in your life. Okay, so it's a very very positive card. What's crossing it here is the High Priestess and the High Priestess does indicate you know a very very spiritual presence in your life and it often indicates our own sense of intuition, our own sense of self-knowing, our gut feeling and things like that. So I'm going to pull out the surrounding cards just to see in what direction we're looking at and what this pertains to. In the past position, we have the Queen of Coins in the reverse position. So a lot of you have been dealing with Earth signs. In the future, the Four of Cups. At the um, crowning this reading here is the King of Wands. So interesting. And then we have the Two of Wands. Seven of Cups. The Emperor reverse. Ace of Coins in your hopes and fears, and Ace of Cups. Okay, wow. So we have the Knight of Cups, Reverse, and the Page of Coins. You have a lot of people in this spread. So one, two, three, I have four court cards. So a lot of people are kind of active in your life. And, you know, it's understandable because in the United States, we do have the Thanksgiving holiday, which is a major, major holiday for family get-together, celebrations, and things like that. And um, it's not surprising that the court cards are all showing up. So let me take a moment to absorb this information because there's so many there are so many directions that this can go. Okay, so first off, first off, I do feel that there is a re-injection of massive energy, especially like physical sexual energy that is coming through for you for this month, okay? And um I do feel that is the energy crowning this reading. There is that sense of um, passion. I, I do feel passion. That is being reignited or being revived. And I do feel that for a lot of you, um, you are interested in somebody who has a lot of suitors or you yourself have a lot of suitors. And I feel like all of these signs are coming in. They all carry something, which means, you know, an offer. So a lot of you could be, you know, being, could face being flagged down by many, many suitors just wanting to offer you some sort of a relationship. But I do feel you might want to be careful because um, the quality of these people, they're all in the reverse position. So it's not looking too great. The only person in the upright position is a fire sign. And if you're thinking, debating whether or not this is a viable person, I do feel that the fire sign is the most stable. So fire signs are um, Aries, Aries, Sagittarius, um, Leos, okay? And he or she is showing up as a king figure, which means this is somebody who's in very, very control of their emotions, who is, um, who ignites a lot of, who exudes a lot of passion, but they don't act recklessly. They're very calculated. They're very regal looking, possibly very handsome. And just um, somebody who is, you know, the whole package. So they have a lot of energy, but they don't scatter their energy. They're very directed. And at their best, they will always, always stand by you. They will always defend your honor. I know that sounds archaic, but we want a partner that stands by us. So they will always defend your honor. So I definitely feel that you are interested in this person potentially you know you might want to see them for those of you where you know you're interested in this person they have a lot of suitors so I do feel like you know potentially a love triangle can happen in which you like this person but there's somebody else possibly an earth sign that's pursuing you so you're being pursued by an earth sign while you are trying to pursue a fire sign and the earth sign that is trying to pursue you is potentially from the past 
it could be new, but I feel like for a lot of you, it might be somebody from your past trying to come back into your life now that you've moved on. They decided they want you back. And, you know, it's messy energy. But what I'm sensing is the earth sign is uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. So there is this trail of, you know, one person chasing you, you're chasing somebody else, and then the other person is not aware of your feelings. So, you know, make yourself known if they're not aware of your feelings, because I feel like they have a lot of suitors, you yourself might have a lot of suitors. So things get complicated, mainly because we have so many options, and we don't really want to make our feelings known. But it's really important for you, if you're interested in this fire sign, he or she is a very good catch. And I do feel that you have a renewal in a love relationship right now. So for those of you who are not, you know, where this fire sign is not a love interest, I do feel a lot of admiration coming from you to a fire sign. This can be a boss, a supervisor, somebody you work in close proximity with, and you are just so fascinated by the way they carry themselves, by the um, charisma that they exude. And overall, you, you just feel as if, they're kind of like your role model. They're somebody that you really admire, you look up to, and you want to emulate their success, okay? And I do feel that you definitely have a potential here to either partner up with them in work or romance. But I do feel that because you're a water sign and they're a fire sign, it's going to take some time for this relationship to to merge in a way that is not disruptive to both parties' lives, okay? I hope that makes sense, the way that came out. But I do feel that uh, a partnership is definitely in the works for you because your foundation is the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is basically knowing what we're worth, knowing what we want, and not settling. So if this is the person that you want to partner up with in love or work, that's the person that you're not going to settle, that's the person that you, you're going to pursue and you're not going to settle for anything less, okay? So this is a very, very positive card. So once again, I'm going to say that, you know, the high priestess, like that sense of inner knowing, that sense of um, trusting our intuition, I do feel for a lot of you, you are interested in this fire sign. And the advice here is, you know, let your feelings be shown, be known, okay? Show your feelings. Um, it's time to uncover yourself. It's, it's time to like um, to stop being a wallflower and then emerge forward into the light where people can have a good view of you, where you can you know entice this fire sign with you know your your presence, because it seems like they they're just they're very. Um, they're long-term strategists, so their mind is perpetually, you know, like miles away, and they need something like staring at them in right in front of their face in order for them to stop what they're doing and pay attention. So you really have to put yourself out there, and I feel like a lot of you feel like you have been putting yourself out there, and Cancers are innately very, very shy. Cancers and Virgos, Pisces sometimes, but Cancers and Virgos are notoriously shy. So I feel like you might feel as if, oh, I've tried so hard. I said hi, but, you know, that's not enough. Because it's a fire sign. They need to be hit in the face in order for them to realize that you like them. So make sure that you make your intentions known, okay? And you have to do this in a very, very straightforward way, unfortunately. Because you're dealing with a different element here. So either way, it's a very, very good start to a new beginning and I do feel I am getting a very positive vibe with this fire sign um, they they have a very regal energy about them and um, they're very fiercely independent so they don't really need a partner but they would be interested in you as long as you make your feelings known okay what's coming in here is the four of cups in the reverse position so I do feel you have several suitors here and whichever one you go with I don't feel you can go wrong, but you have your eyes fixed on somebody else. So you're going to pursue the other person rather than, you know, taking the other offers, which is fine because it's important to go after what we want. And I feel like for cancers, that's um, that takes a lot of guts. So, you know, good for you. In terms of the ad um, advice here, we have seven of cups. And the Seven of Cups is, you know, it's all about fantasies. It's all about, like, um, having many, many options and being indecisive. 
so I do feel that, you know, take a moment to really enjoy the company of people around you. Take a moment to consider friendship in the other suitors. So don't blaze, don't go, you know, trailblazing or out blazing. What is that expression? Just don't go all out and don't be so tunnel vision and fixated on this one fire sign that, you know, you, you scrap or you turn down all the other options. It's important to know what we want, but at the same time, I do sense that, um, I do sense that it's important for you to turn your attention, you know, just like broaden the scope of your attention because this is a card of illusions as well. So this fire sign, for all you know, they might be married. So find out their marital status before you, you know, charge full speed, okay? So find out their marital status. I don't sense anything bad associated with them, but I do feel that for a lot of you, this might be a person in your work environment because external to you is the um, emperor in the reverse position. And this is a person that wields a lot of power. So this could be a supervisor. This could be somebody who is like, um, who, who you're working under and you're trying very, very hard to please, for example. And it's somebody that you want to emulate, but you don't really have opportunities to speak to them in a more open-hearted manner. And there might be like a little bit of a, um, an arrogance about them, you know, just a, a slight arrogance. And you want to have an opportunity to speak to them or to approach them on a more level playing field. But the power dynamics in the relationship is very apparent, which might explain why you are so attracted to them. But relationships, and it's weird, I was telling um, Aquarius this too, relationships that are built on power imbalances are not healthy. It's, a, it's an infatuation. It's an infatuation. As a result of it, it's not going to be anything stable and, and long term. However, in this situation, I do feel that fire sign is in a good position. He or she is very honorable. So I do feel that if it's not a supervisor, if it's not somebody that where you would violate work contracts, if you were to pursue them, then it's fine. Just go for it. Um, in terms of your hopes and fears, we do have here the Ace of Coins. And the Ace of Coins in the reverse position indicates to me that you want to build on this, but you're afraid the other person might not reciprocate, okay? And at the same time, you're thinking to yourself like, so for example... You're interested in someone and then there's another person interested in you and the other person that is interested in you that you're not really feeling, they keep hovering around you. So for some reason, your hopes and fears is that you fear misunderstanding. You fear that the person you like might think you're already taken. So you try your best to push the other person away that you're not interested in. And you might go out of your way to avoid them or to say like, you know, to to just not be caught in their periphery, mainly because you don't want the misunderstanding. So that's what I'm sensing. And I'm sensing like a love triangle in the making. So be very cautious about this situation and make sure that you only date one person. If you've got like another person hanging on that you're not interested in, sever ties with them before you pursue somebody else. It's just the right thing to do. It's the nice thing to do. It's the decent thing to do as a person. But it's also, you know, good karma as well. You want to sever one ties before you move on to the next. Because what I'm sensing is this, and it's, it's actually quite funny. Um, I'm sensing this, this trail of unrequited love. It's like, it's a trail of unrequited love. So, you know, one person following the other. This is you in the middle. But the fire sign can also be you. Because you're exuding this energy where you're charging full speed ahead. You're very charismatic. And people are very receptive to you. So I feel like, you know, but it's a trail of unrequited love. People are not turning around and looking at one another. So what I'm feeling is for those of you who have been dealing with an earth sign, an ex-lover, a lot of you are getting communication from this ex-lover and you're charging full speed ahead to reconcile with this this ex-lover okay an earth sign ex-lover if you're doing that it's not going to end well so you want to be very careful for those of you who are dealing with unrequited love from a crush who is a um well let me rephrase that if you're dealing with unwanted attention coming from an earth sign and this is a new earth sign 
the the advice here is actually this earth sign might be a lot more up your alley than you think okay so i feel like there is a sense of um you want somebody who is more mature who's more seasoned and you feel like this earth sign is really not there yet and you feel like they might not have enough to offer you in terms of life experience you know more than anything um, the advice here is, you know, take a second look, give them a chance, okay? So if there's nobody else that you're interested in and it's just this person, let them take you out for a coffee date. You know, get to know them a little bit better because I feel like they might surprise you. And they have all these things hovering around them. So I feel that they have a lot of suitors too. And people who have a lot of suitors, they're generally great people, you know? They're generally great people, and that's why they have a lot of suitors. So you might want to reconsider this. Instead of taking a plunge with that other option that might have so many suitors, they might not have the time for you. But either way, my point here is that there are a lot of options on the romantic front. There are a lot of people circulating around you, creating quite a buzz. There is new love coming through with the Ace of Cups. You're kind of turning your back to it. So there's definitely, you know, somebody showing interest in you and you you're, you might not reciprocate. But there's definitely, you know, that on the offering. So you might want to just um, slow down a little bit and take opportunities as they come in. Don't be too quick to reject things, okay? Because you, I, I definitely feel very, very strong uh, love energy coming through here. All right. So cancers, please enjoy your Thanksgiving. Stay safe. Don't move too fast. I, I feel like a lot of momentum, a lot of distraction. I, I'm sensing not so much work, but it's a lot of momentum, a lot of distraction. OK, so be very, very careful when tr um, I don't feel any travel delays or anything like that. But I do feel that. OK, another thing is um, rose colored glasses. If somebody, if you're fascinated with somebody because of the power dynamics, because of the larger than life, um, larger than life, like cult of personality that they're bringing with them, if the person is like, I guess, what's the best way to put this? If you're fascinated with somebody's, okay, well, we all have different reasons why we like somebody. But I do feel that for this month, you want to be very, very careful with people who are very self-absorbed, okay? And what I mean by that is um, they're so caught up in accomplishments. They're so caught up in, you know, the superficial things in life that they don't really see what's important. So I feel like for the past few months, um, cancers have been doing a lot of introspection when it comes to what they need to be happy. So, you know, don't undo all of that work that introspection that you've been doing for the past few months and jump into relationships with somebody who has that perfect perfect outer appearance but they have really no substance to back it up or they're just you know the relationship was all about them it's all about building their own empire it's really about you know the relationship was very it's very one-sided what all the effort or your time everything was about propping them up rather than rather than working towards a more egalitarian relationship. So keep that in mind. Be careful about people who, you know, on the first date, talks about themselves and asks you nothing about you. And, you know, they, they don't show interest in getting to know you as a person. Those are red flags. So don't be so, um, just so don't be too, I guess, like, don't wear those rose-colored glasses to your dates where you can't gauge them objectively okay i feel like overall a lot of you have a lot of love to give and there are a lot, a lot of people suitors around you so you might be just dating a lot in general um also for those of you who are coupled i do feel you know the the couple relationship there is going to be a rejuvenation in the in the romance and i definitely feel work life imbalance has been you know um, has been messing up with the vibe in the relationship, but now things are starting to open up for you. Ease of communication, ease of showing affection is coming through. Um, also, 
going back to what I was saying about, you know, egotistical people, if you go on a first date and they ask you absolutely nothing about yourself or they ask one question and then they talk about themselves for like the rest of the night, it's a pretty, um, you know, it's a huge red flag. So don't be, you know, don't uh, be so fixated on this one person and that you you're so fixated on the outcome that you don't see all the, the warning signs, okay?